This is Teresa Holler from Victory Health Consultants in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I'm here today to talk to you about testing vitamin D. The first thing you want to do when testing your vitamin D is make sure you're doing the right level. You want to have your 25-hydroxy-D checked, not your 1-25-hydroxy. So you need to just make sure your doctor's ordering the correct level. The 25-hydroxy-D level will then come back with a very wide, wide range of normal. And an optimal level would be 50 to 100. Some doctors are touting 70 to 100, but you have to be careful not to go too high because vitamin D can become toxic. So vitamin D is one of those vitamins that you want to test periodically so that if you're supplementing, you're not going to go too high, um, but that also you're not going to go too low. I test all of my patients' vitamin D level the first time they come in, and I live in a beach town where people are out almost year-round in the sun, and I've only had two levels come back normal. So we know that there's a rampant deficiency. And when I say normal, I mean optimal in that 50 to 100 range. So it's rampant, the problem we're having with vitamin D. And some of my theories as to why that is, is that first of all, vitamin D, when it's made, is made on the skin. And it can take up to 48 hours to absorb into the skin. The problem is that if you put lotions, soap, um, sunscreen, any product on your skin, it it can interact with that vitamin D and neutralize it before it can be absorbed and therefore you're not getting the elevation of vitamin D that you would expect from the sun that you may have gotten that day. Um, jumping in a chlorinated pool may have the same effect. So when you bathe you really want to be careful not to put soap on some of the areas that you want to get the vitamin D from. What's interesting is that dogs get their vitamin D by licking their skin after they've been out in the sun. So it tells you the importance of what you do to your skin after being in the sun if you want to keep that vitamin D. Um, most of my patients end up on supplements. Vitamin D deficiencies have been linked to autoimmunity, cancer, just about every problem there is. It's important to have vitamin D in order to get calcium absorbed into the bones, so we need it for virtually everything. This is for educational purposes only. It is not intended to diagnose or treat. As always, talk with your individual healthcare provider about your health concerns.